Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for, well, around the 20th, okay? We're just going to see what comes up. Let's see what comes up. 20th. Seems only right that I would use my favorite deck. Oh, I was going to get one of my cards, too. 444. Four happens to be my number. This is a daily reading. We're just going to see what comes up. Join us. Join us. Join us for a party or a get-together or something like that. Somebody may be getting an invite. Join us. Now keep in mind that these readings are, you know, could happen at any time in the next couple of days. Very interesting. Somebody is going to receive a message that they do not want to hear, unfortunately. <sighs> it's not fair. It's not fair. This isn't fair. But there is a soulmate connection here. We have two people that are being brought together that are meant to be together. We have a warrior here. We do have a warrior here that it has been struggling. Somebody has really, really, really been struggling. They've been struggling with uh, what to do. And they've been really, really busy. Trapped, trapped, tied down. Bound to something that isn't healthy. They've been needing to step outside of their comfort zone. They've been needing to escape. They've been wanting to escape. They've been wanting to. They've been wanting to leave. But they've been under some, some sort of control. There's some sort of control issues here. Um, really, really struggling to walk away. Admitting defeat and leaving. Somebody's leaving something. They have been, there's some sort of abuse. It's either mental abuse or verbal abuse. There's some sort of abuse here. Unfair treatment. Somebody has been treated unfairly. There's lies. There's, this is like... Mm. Bad news. This is something here. Somebody is going to be receiving some news that they do not want to hear. Giving up. Giving up. And we've been talking about giving up this battle. This is a battle. Trapped. Trapped. Held back in fear. Going through a lot of mental turmoil. This is unhealthy. Breaking free. Breaking free from that environment, breaking free from that situation. Somebody's been in some sort of prison, whether it's a mental prison or whatever it is. They've been in some sort of 
uh, restrictive environment that they need to break free from, and they are going to be breaking free, okay? That's the way it goes. That is breaking free from a bad thing, you know, unhealthy environment. Join us. <laughs> Seven of Pentacles reversed. Giving up. There's dead end. There's nothing left. There's there's no reason to stay here. There isn't. There's probably going to be a fight or a predicament or something with that Five of Swords. That's like a hostile situation. This is an argument. So there's not probably going to be an upcoming argument. I think we have somebody here that is angry with the King of Wands reverse. They are angry or they are upset or... Uh, Mm. not healthy they may just not be healthy um, really really battling a choice with a choice between two options somebody is battling with a choice right now they have two options and they are struggling they are struggling mentally and this could either, they could be even engaged with, with a contract where there's mental abuse. I feel like there's some sort of mental abuse. Mental manipulation. Death. Reverse. This holding on is getting old. There's no reason to stay here. There's no reason to stay. Some, it's like somebody's been fighting death, right? They've been fighting an ending where there's no balance. There's, there's no balance. There's no justice. There's no truth. There's lies. There's lies. If there's lies, then why oh, stay there? Okay. Anyway, there's another choice. There's an unexpected choice in love. Somebody has another option right in front of them. It's right here. But it's like there's fear of abandonment. There's abandonment issues in the past. There is some sort of neglect. And there's also victim mentality, you know. But breaking free. Breaking free from these restrictions. This being held back. Somebody is breaking free from their restrictions. They're breaking free from something. There's going to be a fight. Okay, we have a fight here and we have a fight here. So, I feel like there's going to be a fight. This is it. And I think that uh, if there's not a fight, then we have somebody that is... Well, I think somebody's going to be standing their ground or something like that. They're going to be like... So, yeah, I do think there's going to be a fight. And there's an argument with no resolution in sight. That's what the Justice card is re in reversed. That's exactly what we got here. We got an argument with no resolution in sight. There's no reason to in invest. It's not worth it anymore. <clears throat> Death. This getting it is. It's not. There's there's no reason to put effort into something that is dead. I feel like there's going to be, I don't know, there could, I don't know if there's an accident. I, hopefully there's not. But death could be something random. We have somebody here that has been held back by fear. And I feel like there's some sort of incident here. That breaks them free in some way. What is this incident? This is this is giving up. Some sort of betrayal, admitting defeat as well. It's like I gotta go. I can't. I can't be treated like this anymore. Or I can't do this anymore. There's definitely some lies here. In a serious power struggle. Defeated. Defeated. Somebody is defeated. They are defeated by a soulmate connection of some sort. 
and now they have to make a choice. But what is this join us? We have somebody here that is probably going to receive an offer or an invite, but they have their guard up. They need to let their guard down and re stop restricting themselves. There's fear. There's fear. There's fear of abandonment. So that's for somebody else. Just it, stop restricting yourself. You don't. It, but we have somebody here that is in defense mode, always wanting to protect themselves. But somebody is looking at a potential partner here. This is unexpected. It is ap This is an unexpected choice. So there's some sort of unexpected opportunity for love. A choice is going to have to be made. But there's protection. Some something about protection. Should I invest in this or not? There's dishonesty. I feel like this is the end of a contract. This resembles contract. This is a contract. And this is an ending. We have the ending of a contract here. And we have two people that are... These two people are kindred spirits. Okay, they have a lot in common. They know that they're soulmates. This is two people that know that they are soulmates. But there is... There is some... There is like... Restriction. Somebody is held back by, you know, a toxic situation. And they're going to, and this is like a disaster. It feels like we have, because we have the devil and the death card both reversed, could be extremes. I feel like we have a disaster here. This is a disaster. We have a warrior coming in to somebody's life. This is a warrior. This is a fighter. This is a protector. This is somebody that is uh, coming together with a soulmate. Anyhow, um, get prepared to receive a message that there's a message that you don't want that makes you conf conflicted. This is conflict. That's what it is. It's conflict. It's going to cause, con you're going to receive them as somebody is really dealing with a lot of inner conflict about a decision and a choice in regards to love. We have soulmates here, but there is, there is some sort of, <clears throat> dishonesty, somebody is being dishonest. You're being dishonest about what they're saying. It's like what they say is not who they truly are. You know what I'm saying? We have a person here that wants to win, has control issues, likes to be in control. That is struggling. Struggling with leaving a contract that is dead. They have another option that they are face to face with. This is a perfect match. And I feel like these two people are going to be coming together. And that is how I feel. Good luck.